Welcome back to Pops and Pilots, this place is more Europe and you for we of course the Knights, uh, the Knights Hospitaller, formerly of Rodos, um, and now of Jamaica mostly, who are apparently paying for their fort on roads again, yeah, for reasons unbeknownst to man. I mean, I know the reason that's happening, but um, it's still a reason unbeknownst to man, of course, I think. I'm not, nah, I don't know. I can easily turn off mothballing um, for all my forts in, well, unmothballing for all my forts in one of these interfaces. I haven't done it in a while. Uh, yep, yep. Automatically raise maintenance during the war will also do the mothballing of forts. I'm very tempted to turn that off, but then uh, there will be a war where I'm annoyed and it will be worse than the money I'm losing here. So eh, it'll have to do. Uh, anyway, we're doing uh, the Knights campaign because we're going for Knights of the Caribbean and maybe more. Uh, for Knights of the Caribbean, we have to own all the Caribbean and we have to own all the Mediterranean islands. While we might also do on the roads again in which we have to take, uh, what is it, Antioch, Jerusalem and some place I keep forgetting for reasons unbeknownst to man again. Uh, probably... Hell no, it's not Knights of the Caribbean. That's what we're going for, but we're looking for on the roads again. And we need knowledge of the alphabet would help me finding this thing. Yeah. And Constantinople, of course. Constantinople. <laughs> well, that's for future me uh, to deal with. For now, it's about taking the Caribbean. And, um, well, a couple of things about the Caribbean. For one, um, if we highlight the extra Caribbean, these other Mediterranean islands, wait, we don't have to own the Balearis. Oh no, we do. Okay. Just didn't see the highlighting there. Um, over here, we do. Oh yeah. Everything that we already own is not highlighted, but I think we don't technically need to own Trinidad there. We do need to take all the stuff from the Portuguese subject here, which will be fine. We have a wall going for that right now. Um, uh, we don't need to take Florida. And as Peter pointed out in the comments, that's for a good reason. <laughs> Somehow, I was not looking at our colonial regions when I considered um, Florida colonization, but I was looking at trade regions where Florida is part of the Caribbean. That's just um, not what I should have been doing. It's not what I meant to do, but it is what I did do. Um, so yeah, we don't need to worry about a Portuguese colonial nation in Florida so much because it's a different colonial region. Uh, sure, there might be one, right? There's a lot of uh, colonies in America that the Portuguese could technically colonize if they have the range, but uh, there's also a lot of room there for them to form a colonial nation. So I don't have to worry so much about leaving them space. So this war declaration on Cuba was just fine. Not that we did the math or anything, but it was just fine. Um, saving up on admin a tiny bit, so not spending it on admin ideas right now, because the next sets of admin ideas are not very interesting. We need three clicks, well, three, of the full idea group to get our final Crusader tradition here uh, for the yearly army tradition and also for the bonus that we apparently don't get. <laughs> it must be something Catholic. I don't know. I should check that out. Um, but, 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 uh, yes, we are planning to take a bunch of land, which we'll have to core, that will cost us stuff. We probably don't need to grab the Conquistador yet, but we should probably check on our Conquistador in the north, who still has a job. Good, good, good. Because we cannot, unfortunately, click the button to um, you know, improve my defenses. That button I can click. Uh, can't click the button to uh, search for the seven cities of gold, which I would love to do, both because I would like to find some, especially the Fountain of Youth, and also because uh, it would make automated exploration a lot easier. This is a bit risky. Uh, I saw this movement. Oh, they're not coming. Okay, good. You go back home. And by home, I mean where you were, as you were. Uh, we don't have a siege pip on the guy. We do have a siege pip on the guy, but I still want to do something along the lines of leave a cannon and uh, three guys. 
to hold the fort, as it be, as it would be, uh, take the fort. Uh, can I let you lock in, or would I be faster here? 24th of June, 1st of July, so we will actually catch them. In jungle, but it should be fine. Before they catch our small stack here, which means uh, we probably get to medic them, and we still get to keep our um, siege going. Speaking of keeping the siege going, we probably want our cogs on the other side, uh, giving us some um, of that old K duty. Uh, so let's get the general on the job. Uh, my galleys are moving over here. I don't remember why. Ooh, but I might be able to raid Castilian Guarana, Guayana, not Guarana. Different thing. Uh, same region, different thing. Yes, I can. <laughs> Which I couldn't do before because we're friends with the Castilians. But it turns out uh, when they're occupied, they're no longer Castilians. So we can raid them to our heart's content. Which is nice. An army career. Oh, I want that army tradition. I want it badly. I, mean, I wouldn't mind professionalism and the move around of loyalty is a lot better for us. But I think we're going to go for that tradition this time around. Uh, we're getting a bunch of merchant, well, 10 merchant loyalty soon. So losing the 10 here is not the end of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do want to start getting this tradition up because it's terrible. Because we're not really fighting real wars. Um, yeah, I'll do that. I shall do that. It does bear the risk. Uh, speak of bearing the risk, ah, this will be fine. They also only have transports. Um, you have to spare the risk of... What risk does it bear? <laughs> what did we just do? Right, <clears throat> that we will just lose the arm tradition to yearly decay uh, without really getting much out of it. But uh, also maybe not, you know. And if we don't, then having arm tradition so we can get finally get some decent generals around here would be a sweet thing indeed. Speaking of sweet things, I wouldn't mind um, the using the cogs to go over to Bahama Banks and Turks and Calicos. We might just not need to. I probably have to go to the Lesser Antilles though, don't we? Hmm. We'll see. I don't know if I can take control of the place if it's while it's occupied by rebels. That might be an issue. I'm clicking that button. Uh, not clicking that button either. Trade dispute against the Portuguese. Fine. They did rival us, which is somewhat sad because we could have rivaled them instead of like the Ottomans if we hadn't known that earlier. We didn't though. 96% we probably can, pe well, depending on whether we can take the um, these places over here, uh, we might be able to piece out without um, yeah, it looks promising. Not having to take on the boats. I'm not super afraid of the boats. It's four transports against six. But they might be higher technology transports or something, and that would be just just weird, right? Extremely low war score cost. Uh, so I guess you can give me your ducats. Yeah, 234.1 inflation, it seems. Seems like a decent haul there. Cost me some dip. We have dip out of the zoo. We saved up on the admin. Everything is going to be groovy. I didn't at all check overextension, but I think over, yeah. Taking colonies is free, so not a problem. Coromol, uh, we still want to run all these, don't we? Yeah, here we do. Mm, mission is something useless, yeah, Knights of the... Why not useless, but useless now. And I'm gonna assume that rebels will be over here because of there being better development over here as opposed to the islands but we should check on that um guantanamo 11 9 12 14 in kamagui 6 and moron uh, 5 8 antigua has 11 and 9 we should be fine we should be fine <laughs> Uh, he's hoping. Are you guys still quiet here? Yes, you are indeed. 
ecumenical defenders of Christendom that we are quite. Um, it was pointed out uh, by meme. Apparently, uh, I mean, who to judge people on their names? Uh, they are apparently a meme uh, in the comments uh, that Protestant Knights is somewhat weird. And uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I get that. <laughs> but I mean, it's not like we want to be Protestant. Uh, Pope made us do it. And if that isn't Catholic, then I don't know what is. Uh, we have this thing coming up again, of course. How are we doing on that unity these days? We're doing, yeah, okay. Got to rush some conversions, but uh, I say some conversions. We only have the one guy. That might actually be a bit of a, a bit of a tall task to do entire mounted. We have to do two of these. Ah, two of these should be fine. Yeah, yeah, it'll do. It'll do. Uh, especially if I get more colonies that are nice and Protestant, uh, they will sort of increase our unity by increasing our development base, essentially. Um, one colony done. We are waiting three more. Two more? Oh, no, two more. The one was finishing without colonists, right? Mm, so now where do we go? We did Knights Columbia down here because we had a mission for that. Oh, we still do. It's going to be done very soon. There's something to be said about taking Corker. Because it is a center of trade. And I assume it's in the colonial Colombia region. It is. Well, no. It's Panama. It's all Panama. It's not a colonial region we're looking at. It's a trade region. They're different. <laughs> um, yes. So it's in the Panama region where we have insane trade power. We would need trade value. I don't know that taking this necessarily adds tons of trade value. Depends on the trade good in there, of course, but it doesn't seem extremely instantly relevant. Oh, this seems like terrible terrain. I could turn on a development map mode if I was so inclined, and I guess I shall. Um, it is. I would assume it is geographical, but it's probably economical, isn't it? Uh, yep. Well, that place is nice, but it's also owned by people. Cartagena. It's so pretty lame. All of Florida is terrible. I mean, <laughs> what did you expect? Hmm. This all native land over there is, as you would expect from native land, kind of nice. Could consider getting into Mississippi River a bit more because there's money there and we're not taking all of it. So taking Chitty Macha here would actually be pretty great. Perdigurd, as they say. Yeah, and I think I'm not doing it directly. I could walk my way over here so we get the adjacency bonus for colonizing stuff. But that seems like a long way to go, and it would be a lot slower. It would be faster in total, but it would be a lot slower in getting me Chitty Maka. So I'm just not gonna, not gonna care. I don't actually know if the adjacency bonus. I should try to find that out. If the adjacency bonus works next to a colony, or whether it needs to be adjacent to a core. Because if it works next to a colony, then you can sort of start two, and they'll boost each other. Uh, we should see that maybe around here. Was it a settler chance thing or was it just a flat out colonial thing? Um, I don't remember where to hover here. Am I supposed to hover somewhere there? Oh, there we go. I'm not seeing any adjacency bonus here in Neva, even though we have Bogota. So I must have missed it or I'm missing something else. <laughs> Have a look here again. Technology, land of opportunity, faster colonies, net repression, colony expansion, heritage support. These are just all standard things. And then you have a 90%, 19.2% chance base, plus base value. <laughs> sure. Good um, generalization law, efficiency, uh, culture, culture group, religion, minus colony level. None of that says it isn't. But I'm sure there was one, wasn't there? Hmm. 
Must be missing something. Because clearly I'm next to a core of mine here with Bogota. Where I have missionary strength going, which I probably don't need, do I? Save on that money. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it needs to be continuous with my capital? I just don't know. If you do know, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments. I always enjoy if you folks do that, if and when, instead of trading a ruble increasing. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, can you already grab me money from the Jolofians? You cannot. Uh, but that's not why you're here anyway. Take a quick trip to Arguin, and then if I remember, we're gonna go here and uh, find out if we can raid. Looks like Tunis is ready to raid. So, uh, the Mamluks do not look ready to raid. When are you? 42, next year, excellent. And Mr. Owen, 43. Uh, what about Naples? Because they are filthy heretics. Uh, 43 as well. Okay. I totally not forget. I mean, how could I? What else is there to do while we wait around here? We could be looking into spending some money because we have a lot of that. We have a loan of 200 ducats that we have to pay back in three years. So we can do some spending. Uh, quick look at these things. We might go for a manufacturing because we're sitting on money. Decent workshops there. And very good marketplaces in Puerto Rico and Aruba. I mean, could look into those things eventually. We'll have to build that plantation, but we don't have the technology. Marion. It's a fine manufacturing. I just build it. I want a manufacturer. It's it's a good one. Everything over 0.4 is fine in my book, which is an arbitrary number, but it's a number I picked it once and I uh, stick to it. <laughs> in reality, it totally depends on what amount of time you're looking at for your return on investment. But you know, who's counting? Who's looking at math, really? It just doesn't make any sense. Mm, you don't need you folks down here anymore at all. So, well, unless there's stuff to take, which there isn't right now. I also don't know where else I would need you. Unless, uh huh, uh huh. So, I'm gonna assume that this is the same colonial nation. It is not, though. Just making a butt out of you and me. Um, so, no, nothing to take here. I was considering that maybe we'd see an English colonial nation spawn here very soon. One, two, three, four provinces, assuming the English win, which they technically might. Mm. How's the actual war looking? Surely that's a Castilian war. Oh, same war. Same difference. That's English getting beaten up by Castilian troops. A bunch of Austrians coming in, though. That's scary for our friends. And I'm not seeing the extra Castilian oomph at all. If they have our ex if they have extra troops, they're hiding them from us. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's 29,000, and that's 29,000, so that's all the Cassians have on their side. That's a problem for them. <laughs> that is a problem. It is the... Oh, it's actually in English Congress of Scotland. Right, I knew that. So it's probably not going to hurt my Cassian friends much. Why this? Aragon... 9,000 troops. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Not so sure about that one there. Uh, why was I looking at that? Right, because I was looking for expansion opportunities. There don't seem to be any real ones in South America right now. I mean, yes, I can fabricate on like Potiguara. Should have the range and I do have the ideas to do so. And this uh, Sahara here is obviously a great place with that 21 development. Assuming it's real development, which you never know with those natives. Can you see that on here? Because some of that development they're going to take with them right when they move. And I think when I kill them, I don't get it. I keep forgetting how these mechanics work. They're so weird. But yeah. Pretty sure I wouldn't get all on this. 
I don't think it tells me anywhere, does it? No. From Tribal. Oh, it does. Six from Tribal. Four from Tribal. Yeah, there's nothing here. It's a tiny province with a bunch of tribal development, which would not be ours until they settle down. So, no. We're not going to go there yet. We want them to settle first. We could consider looking at Yucatan, finally. And take on, say, these folks over here. Now, the nice thing about the Chactamal is that they have a lot of coast that would uh, that I can raid over and over and over again. If I take them out, I can't raid them anymore. I also have a lot of friends. Holy fudge. I mean, not enough to put up any real fight, and they shouldn't have much in the way of technology. Tech 7 to our, what, 13? 12? So yeah, we'd crush them. We might want to start with somebody. Oh, you're a vassal, of course, because that's what how this works around here. That'd be a lot of people. That would be a lot of freaking people. Very doable because of tech, right? But, um, youch. And again, the reason I'm looking at somebody like them rather than the big ones is because they have a lot less coast and therefore um, I'm losing less raiding opportunities. Pure? You know, one or the other. How about you? You look the similar, right? Yeah, same same deal here. And we could look for the Quaxta Lahuka. Quaka. Their overlord to maybe do the whole flower wars thing and release all their vassals. Because surely that's what they're doing, right? Um, Quaxtlahuka. You are Nahuatl. You must have the Flower Wars thing going on. Yeah, I assume there's going to be a releasing of people there. Let's do a best guess setup again. Haven't done that in a while. Uh, which gave me nothing. Yeah, I only care about care about Nachi Toshes. Let me know about the Quaxtalahuka people. That's you, right? Yeah. Uh, Koikstlahuaka. Koiks. There you go. I want to know when they when they do the flower wars thing, release their vassals, so that we can jump in and eat them. Uh, that also means that we probably want to start fabricating on these folks. Why am I looking at uh, the Teotitlis? Because they have a nice scent of trade here. And I do want a set of trade foothold in Mexico. Let's start building a spinal work. I have to do it on your overlord, though. And I should be should be able to fabricate. Uh, will I actually? No. <laughs> and the reason is. Well, normally we wouldn't be able to, right? Because we are not in the same sea zone, we're not adjacent, we couldn't fabricate. That makes sense. But we have these ideas going here. Can fabricate claims in over overseas and colonial regions. Now, it's in a colonial region. Fabricate claims in a colonial region. Overseas. So that's an X nay. Uh, because we're not overseas. Maybe just out of interest. Are we like overseas to these? How exactly is overseas um, calculated there? No, no, because we're American, I suppose. Neither. So even the whole Potigara thing wouldn't have worked out that I talked about earlier. No, actually. Okay. So we must be in North America still, kind of, with our capital. And so must uh, Mesoamerica be. Um, subcontinents? Central America. I mean, that makes sense, but then why is... That's weird, right? That North America is not overseas, but South America is? I mean, I get that Mesoamerica is not working. But, huh. Well, uh, don't 
bother with that. Uh, how am I doing on favors with you? 43 favors. I'm going to trade another round for trust because we have so much. Um, I guess I'm not. Wait, you don't like me. Oh. That's funny. So uh, we were allowed to raid the coast of these provinces because they're not occupied by the... But they're occupied by the English. So it didn't say, oh, we're raiding our friends. But then we got the negative modifier, negative opinion modifier with our friends. Which um, does not seem great, does it? No. I'm very much feeling a continuation of work in the Mississippi River, honestly. Because we don't care about Chesapeake Bay trade at all yet. If we ever move our trade capital there, then sure, because we can steer there from the Caribbean. But that seems like a long-term proposition and probably not worth even looking at. Uh, so no, I'm going to look at one of these. They're terrible, though, once again. What does my development map mode say about... Um, just tell me there's a whole bunch of nothing around here, doesn't that? Hmm. Yeah, only tribal land stuff. Okay. So it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, continue with Portugal, Portugal, Florida, so we don't have to worry about neighbors. That's probably a decent thing to do. Let's just go. I don't need to send any troops for them because we have a hundred percent reduction in native aggression. Even though we have picked the most aggressive um, native repression policy. Which is not something I've ever done, I don't think. And I kind of did it on accident. It was also nice. Mm -hmm. Alright, so improving with the Castilians. Try to get them on our good side again. Uh, idea being, of course, that um, we're not going to raid them again. <laughs> They're our friends, after all. I do want to raid these folks if I can. And I can. Give me my money, Morocco. Portugal, too. If you would. Can I trade your friends? I wasn't planning to. I've never been planning to. Uh, we don't have reach on Portugal itself. So we can't raid there. Um, Aragon probably is kind of considered a friend. Uh, some Tunisian provinces we do get to raid. Good. Get over here. Get over here. Don't get to do Bigerte, but we do get to do Oh, we don't. Oh, we don't. I was just blind. No, we do. Suara here. Either we're occupied earlier or something. I've long lost my good old um, synchronized timers on that thing. Oh, the, the guy died and I didn't see it. Hmm. Kind of feeling not continuing right now. But I could spend another 50-ish million power on another conquistador. Or I could click on the mission and get a 100-point conquistador. But we're going to get very little out of doing that. And it's somewhat costly. One is opportunity cost because I could use the conquistador later for, say, extra war. And one is... Um, just actual cost in mid points. Gosh, this is not great. Neighboring heretic, come on. <laughs> I am no heretic, I'm a friend. Freretic. Wait, I can't raid Suwari? Suwara, did they just raid it? No. Oh, is it not in range? No, it must be in range of Malta. It is clearly in Raid of Malta. Why can't I not Raid here? Or here? Or here? What am I missing? No valid targets. Oh, do we have a truce to Tunis? We must have. Uh, that's it. Yes. Okay. Bad, but okay. I understand.
Yeah, can't do you yet. Can't do you yet. Fine. Get to port. Is that a Castilian? Corfu or Sio? No, it was Corfu. Oh, uh, over here, of course. It's not in Anatolia. Uh, that is. That looks Castilian to me, but it's Genoan. Yeah, that makes more sense, I suppose. Oh, I do love that Hiss and Kaiva is still alive. Are you subject of somebody? No. You're just allied to Gazimuk and alive. Which. <laughs> that is unlikely. Uh, bum, 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 bum. How my course doing? Pretty good because I do really need to get started on that whole um, coring thing. Well, with my inability to fabricate over here, I guess we are looking at the Chuck Demal after all. We're allied to a million people, but. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to go and medic a million people, I would suppose. Maybe that's fine at work. And then uh, let's put a cut into this here episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, as always, please do hit that like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And if you have anything at all to say, then that comment section is never particularly far away. And um, I did try to soften the rhyme in that one because I felt bad about even doing it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. See you folks next time.